Hi, my name is Josiah McGee, and I'm going to show you how to put together the Lillibot. So, before you put together, you need to make sure that you have all the correct pieces. So, you should have 12 10 millimeter screws, two 6 millimeter screws, four 25 millimeter screws, the two motors and two wheels accordingly, our bottom and top chassis, four standoffs, an Arduino Uno, two caster wheels, two motor mounts, a battery pack along with two inches of dual lock, and also two mini breadboards. To begin, we're gonna start by assembling the bottom half of our robot. So we're gonna take our bottom chassis along with four of our 10 millimeter screws and our four standoffs and attach them together. So we're gonna be putting the standoffs in each of the four corner holes. So now that we are done attaching the bottom of the lily bot to the standoffs, we're gonna set this down and begin dealing with the motors. So you go ahead and take one of the motors, two of the 25 millimeter screws, a motor mount along with the tire and set them close to you. So to make sure that the orientation of the motors are correct, we want to have our wires facing inward. Now, if you are looking at the chassis, you can see that I have the words for the lily bot facing this way, signifying that this is the front. So we're gonna deal with the left wheel first. So since you want the motor to sit like this, we're gonna assemble the motor mount on this side of the motor. So we're gonna take the motor mount, put the notch through the hole, and then put the screws in on the other side of the motor, and then screw it in place as so. Now that we have the motor mount attached, we can now take our tire and put it on the outside. From here, we now take the clip of the motor mount and put it through the hole, a sign for the left wheel. We're now gonna repeat this process for the right wheel. So now that we have both wheels on the bottom of the chassis, we're gonna flip it over and now attach the caster wheels. The caster wheels are the ones that have the little balls in them. Now to attach these, we're gonna be putting them on the front and back caster portions of the bottom chassis using the 10 millimeter screws.
So now that we've attached the caster wheels, we can now flip it over and apply the last piece for the bottom, the battery pack. To do so, we want to take our two inch strip of dual lock and cut it in half. Now that we've cut it in half, we want to stack those two pieces on top of each other. And now rip off one side of the concealant and place it on the back of our battery pack. Now that it's on our back, we can take out the other half of concealant and place it right over the battery section of our bottom chassis with the wires pointing outwards. Now we are done with our bottom half. Let's go ahead and turn it around and now grab our top chassis. Along with our top chassis, we wanna grab our two six millimeter screws and our Arduino Uno. So first you wanna align the Arduino Uno with the holes that we have listed for the Uno. And then screw them in place with our two screws. You can put them diagonally right next to each other. I personally recommend putting them diagonal as it allows for the best fit. So now that we have the Uno attached to our top chassis, we can now place it on top of our bottom chassis and now screw it in place with the remaining 10 millimeter screws to our chassis standoffs. And now take the white concealant or the yellow concealant off of our smaller breadboards and place them onto the breadboard slide itself. We have now completed the full build of the Lilybot.